this is Rick with Shooter1721. Who do we got here? We got Rick from Rocky Mountain Precision Air Guns? Absolutely. Whoa! Oh, thanks for coming. What did you bring us here? Thank you for having me. This is the first ever, to my knowledge, chassis for an Air Force air gun, and it's been designed with a lot of awesome features in it. Wow. Um, one of them is the Arca Rail option for okay. an Air Force gun, which is an awesome feature to have, as I'm sure you're aware with yeah, yeah. some of the other guns on the market. Correct. Wow. Um, and then we've got our prototype 3D printed grip. It's a vertical grip meant for not wrapping your thumb, although on this layout, it's mm -hmm. very comfortable to wrap your thumb on. And then we've got the integrated barricade stop with serrations. So if you're out in the field hunting or target shooting. Oh, okay. So you can just stop that, like stick that in like a, you know, it'd be a fence post. Let's say we're leaning off of a fence post. Yep. You okay. can just brace off of that, put okay. all your weight into it. It's not going to slide off of there. And then it also does another thing, which I'm sure is a huge benefit, especially to you. Yeah. Um, you can attach a sling to this system very easily. And this, this setup here on the back is actually going to come with the chassis. So you'll be able to have a quick detach type sling setup to where you can carry your Air Force gun on a sling. That's a brilliant idea, by the way, just so you know. I think so. Yeah, I that's think that's brilliant. Huge yeah. downside, in my opinion, to... You know, it's a great platform, don't get me wrong. Yep. But when you want to carry it in the field and you want to use some more um, more precision rifle style mm -hmm. accessories, this is going to adapt it to that. Plus, it looks great and it is definitely going to make the frame more rigid. Your frame flex should be a lot less comparative to not having this chassis in place. This is machined out of a solid piece of 6061 T6 aircraft grade aluminum. So. Oh, okay yeah very right. strong stuff very strong then all right mm -hmm. i was wondering what it was because i really didn't ask me <laughs> and now you know we're looking at it and i'm like so what would we call this ch i mean what, what are we calling this like so this model is the prcs the precision rifle chassis system okay kept it simple um just had a name to it okay and i think this is a real game changer, I think. This is a game changer. <laughs> I, I'm kind of, forgive me, I'm standing here kind of awestruck. I'm looking at it because I had no idea. I was so happy to hear Rick was coming out here at the range, at, at the Shooter 1721 range. And and I didn't know what was what we were going to see. And, and then I see this and I'm like, oh, that's <laughs> that, that was the exact words. This is a game changer right out. Uh, Rick, oh, this is awesome. Thank I you. mean, really is. And of course, this color scheme on this is just come on, man. That's that's yeah. That's just it's a nice color. Oh, that's awesome. And then we have the matching Donnie. Up yes, up. I know. <laughs> I was like, man, it did a nice touch on this gun, and you know, we're gonna have to get to the bench and shoot this. You know that, right? Absolutely. Okay. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Ooh, nice and clean. Well, here I am at the bench at like 55 yards and we were just sighting in just to see what we could do and we wanted to get to zero and uh, we wanted to see how the gun was grouping there and uh, you can tell there's a harmonic tune going on because the way the gun, I was able to adjust the scope and get that exactly that last, uh, I guess, adjustment I made. We're dead on, we're, we hit the bullseye there, we're very close to knocking it out perfectly. But the gun actually, talk to me as far as saying hey listen we're moving 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 and it moves systematically wow that's just that is very nice I noticed that uh, you know when you pick this up and stuff how light it feels but let's go down let's take a look at the target and uh, let's see how we did and and I can walk over how we just walked this thing right to center uh, center mass there let's go take a look are you kidding me how nice is this and I love the way that uh, he hooked this sling up. This is this is perfect. Let's talk about this a little bit. So we come down here, and I'm like, all right. So we I hit here, adjust, adjust. But look at how we were able to adjust here, and then the last one coming over here for a center mass shot. Nice and clean. I mean, I I'm hoping I'm hoping I can do one of those. Hey Rick, what's that over there? Throw this in the car. Switch out the gun case. Something like that. No, I, I don't know. I don't know if he'll notice, but I'll see if I can get away with that. No, in all seriousness, though, awesome gun. Love this chassis. I, I mean, 
there I can see that there's a uh, more of a review in the future with this I, I know that so that we'll work with it some more and hopefully in all seriousness that you know Rick I, I can get an opportunity to work with this because we're seeing this and this is just I don't know amazing gorgeous gun but there you go nice 55 yards Woo! come on man okay well did our intro and then we took it over to the bench and we got to see that and see what's going on but I think one thing people want to see Rick is how simple I mean is the chassis to install incredibly easy to install if you can work an allen wrench and a screwdriver you got it made oh wow we're going to yeah. do a full video on how to install this all the tools you oh, need good. it's going to be very informative it's going to be locked down where um, if you don't know how to work an allen wrench well, I, I hope to show you how to do that in the video <laughs> gotcha. so yeah anyone can install it um, if you have a friend or a buddy that knows how to mm -hmm. install stuff too they can always help you out with yeah it, so. and i i was uh, correct in hearing this is ar grip and Correct. Yeah. It is mil spec on the grip section mm -hmm. to an AR-15. So it's exactly the same. It uses the quarter 28 grip screw exactly like your AR grips. Mm -hmm. So a lot of AR grips out there come with screws that are specific length to that grip. I, yeah. So having a 1024 or some weird size screw that you got to cut down or buy a custom screw, that's I don't like that. So okay. I developed it so you could put that AR grip on whatever AR grip you want so a lot of great features here <laughs> thank you so much for going through and showing us the instruction of this but Absolutely. I feel like you've been teasing me what what what's going on here <laughs> what do we have here because all I want to do is pick this up the whole time you were talking yeah. although I was listening I was like what do you what do we got here tell me about this what, I thought I saw on? you trying to fit this in your trunk earlier yeah, well, <laughs> don't let them know that <laughs> So this is just a crazy creation of my own. This is a 357 miniature Texan. I call it the mini Tex. Oh, that's um, cool. Joe kind of helped with the name. Oh, no. You yeah. mean that guy in Colorado? That the, guy with, yeah. Yeah, the, whatever. The, the pellet. The I Lord. Think he's the pellet guy. Is it a pellet guy? Yeah, something yeah, like that. All right. Um, so this is just a custom creation. It started life as a Talon SS, and I had some leftover Texan parts. I had the Texan valve yeah. and the Texan barrel. The barrel's cut down yeah. to 16 inch custom uh, muzzle adapter there and it's incredibly incredibly hard to cock this gun so I had to put this really big lever on here yeah and I was wondering what the lever was for <laughs> I was like do you think Joe could cock this thing you think funny story he can't. all right we won't we won't tell that story if anybody wants to know get go in the comment section because we'll tell you the story <laughs> but yeah this is a great gun it shoots with the predator poly mags the 81 grainers um, it's shooting about 153 foot pounds. Oh, really? And I purpose built this gun to hunt hogs with. Okay. And it just so happens to look fantastic with the chassis on it. It does. Yeah, it's huh? it's super lightweight, compact. It is. Custom you, reach. You know what that means, though, right? That means I gotta. I'm gonna put take this scope right now and put it on there, and we're gonna go shoot this. Please do. Woo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> All right, well, I'm sitting here at about 55 yards, and um, I see you set the GoPro up down there. So, all right, let's cock this monster. Man, that was kind of easy to cock. Wow. And cue up the chainsaw. All right. Make sure we're all good there. Tighten that up a little bit. All right, let's see, uh, see what we got here. You set the GoPro. Hey, dude, what's in the center of the target? I don't know. How many trees is that guy going to cut down while we're trying to film? There goes the pterodactyl, too. He's taking off. All right. You ready? Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Holy cow. This thing's so cool. Did you hear that? All right. 
I got it shooting a little hot probably. All right. Really, guy? That guy's on cue with everything I'm doing with, on, with that chainsaw. I don't know if you guys at home are able to hear this, but yeah, there is a kill switch on those chainsaws. All right, here we go. That looked pretty good, a little high. Well, I'll just use the same aiming point. Man, this is consistent. That is awesome. That is shooting good, but I am just a hair off. Yeah, this gun makes you smile. Ooh, come on. All right, where are we at there? All right. Holy cow. Holy cow. That's it. I'm done playing with that. I can't believe how easy that is, cock. That's awesome, Rick. That's just, that's just crazy awesome. You know, this is shooting dead on. I mean, it did exactly. I, I adjusted too, and, and it actually did that, so. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Where, hey, do you know where Rick is, bro? Do you know where he got to? I don't. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's do the switch out. Do we got, you think we got like an old Benjamin 342 we can put in his case? I think he'll know. Okay, well, that was very interesting. That was like lights out shooting. Awesome. Uh, one thing I'm going to have to tell Rick for sure that he's, that he's got to know that his gun, it's shooting aces in my book. Woo! Come on, man! Gonna top this off. There's something else that I want to show you uh, about this chassis here. So I'm gonna do something here and and uh, fill this up. That looks good right about there. Okay. And I want to show you something that, uh, of course, I blow everything off of here. That was classic. And we'll let that in as a blooper. But I'm gonna go up here and show you something that uh, the chassis. I want to show you off of this uh, stump up here. I'm gonna show you something. Okay, there's one thing I wanted to show you. Like he was saying earlier, we're fair. Well, we found a stump, so I'm gonna gouge it in here, and I'm gonna take a shot down through there, and I'm gouged in. All right. Woo! Come on, man! You see that? That is awesome. Whew. All right. Hey, Rick. See that over there? All right, sitting back here at the bench, and I talked to Rick the whole way, you know, all day today, and he's like, I got a surprise, I got a surprise. And I'm like, well, I'm surprised, you know. He goes, no, that's not what I'm talking about. He says, I got a surprise. And I'm like, I don't know. This is this has turned out to be a huge ton of fun here today. What would you do down there? What do you got? I don't know. I see something. What's going on? Got creative, found a soda, and, and what's left of that golf ball. Oh, yeah, you sit that on top. All right, well, we top this off. Let's, let's see what we get here. All right. I'm going to aim lower. You know what's going to happen. Oh, my goodness. What was that? Is Anybody it good or is it good? Uh, I see the can still there. What happened to the golf ball? Did it disappear? All right. Hey, Joe, did you see that? Uh, all right, never mind. All right. And don't say you can do it with a red rider and all this. Blah, blah, blah. All right, one thing we love doing though here at Shooter 1721 is just blowing stuff up. So let's let's just give uh, that can down there. Let's let's show him some love here. Of the what did I do? Blow the tin off of here? Holy cow! Predator poly mags? Come on! Let's see what we get here. All right, they're going out of this muzzle super fast, and let's see what we get here. Did, where'd the can go? Anybody see the can? I don't know where it is. Woo! 
Woo! Come on, man! <laughs> We're having so much fun down here today. Uh, I can't thank Rick enough for bringing these guns, this chassis system. This is such a ton of fun. I'm loving it. Woo-hoo-hoo! All right. Okay, here we are at the end of the video, and what a day we had here shooting Rick. I can't thank you enough. This mini Tex is awesome. Yeah, I'm going to have to make sure it's in the case when I leave. Yeah, I know. That's just how this goes, you know. You fall in love with guns, and they just leave you. But you know what? I think what we saw today at, at 55 yards, that was tack driving. Oh, yeah. I wonder, you know, I should have grabbed the chronograph and we could have grabbed some numbers, but it's different. Uh, you think about Colorado to, to PA and you think about, you know, sea level. Oh, yeah. Don't you think? Did you see some things today as you were standing back watching? Did you see some, what you saw? I saw some speed that we were getting. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think there's definitely something going on here. One thing that performed really well, the, just the rail system and stuff, man, everything was rock steady. Like when I had that in the bag, that, that wasn't moving. Nothing was moving. That's awesome. That was, I mean, shot after shot, we had no movement. I like that. The grip worked really well. It was the first time, Rick, just so you know, I never shot straight grip like that. Oh, really? No, never used one. Awesome. And I was like, wow, that, that's very nice. So I wanted to let you know that. Cool. Just to, these are the, the pros and cons. I, like I was, I'm here as we're going throughout filming of the day and, you know, just what, what's a con here, you know, with this. And I had no movement. That is the super pro no movement so i definitely give you a, a, a thumbs up on there good nothing there i did like how light it was and of course you know the strength i think you i think you got a home run here cool. i think that all the people with texans and and uh i think i think you're gonna see a lot of these coming off the shelf just so you know good I, i'm serious that's very very nice very nice work and great job oh and the other point here uh, just being able to dig into that stump there like that, that worked. Yeah. Just like you said. Yep. I wanted to take a shot, and that coyote was like 75 yards, and he, and he was a steel coyote. It wasn't a, that was an impressive shot. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. We, had, we had to thread the needle there a little bit, but <laughs> nice and accurate. Um, nice work. Cool. Really appreciate it. You keep talking about a surprise, though. I mean, the whole way through this video. Yeah. Is, I mean, I, I was surprised. I was surprised. Is there something else? Well, it's probably something people have already wondered watching the video on this, and oh, hmm. they'll just have to wait a little longer to find out. Okay, we'll have to see what that is. This is Rick with Shooter 1721 here with Rick from Rocky Mountain Precision Air Guns. Thanks for watching.